everyone, and welcome to the channel with me, Amanya. This is the Conservative Poet. And if this is your first time here joining me, I welcome you, I thank you, and I ask that you stay for a little while, and maybe you can become a part of what I do here on the Conservative Poet by joining and subscribing and liking the videos because it really does help. So, with all that being said, Another video with the press secretary as she takes on Peter Ducey, or I should say Peter Ducey takes on the press set over Twitter. Yes, over Twitter and Elon Musk. And so we're going to get into that. If you're interested in seeing that, stay tuned. On another subject, when are you guys going to delete the White House Twitter account? Why would we do that? Well, you're saying that you're keeping an eye on Twitter because it might not be a suitable platform, so why use it? Look, I want to be very clear here. The president has always said, and he has been very, very uh, clear in his belief that it is important. Uh, we're not going to be cutting, closing down our Twitter account. Why would we be closing down our Twitter account? Twitter is the way to the American people. No, we're going to keep our account. Let's be clear about that. We're going to be clear about that. Uh, social media platforms to continue to take steps to reduce hate speech and misinformation. And he'll, we'll continue to say... Uh, Twitter is a great platform for us. We've used it many of times to censor Americans, uh, including that Hunter Biden laptop, including that nonsense that happened right before the election. Yeah, if we didn't have control over the social medias, these platforms, we would not have been able to do that. So we're going to stay on Twitter. Say that, uh, but media platforms make independent choices about their information uh, that they present. And so, uh, look, I, I don't have anything to share on any policy or any changes that we will be making. Uh, we have multiple platforms, as you know. We have multiple platforms. Our arm is very long in the social media uh, realm. So we've got them all tied up. We've got them all roped up and we're not going to get off of any of them because we need them because they help us to control the American people. Uh, that we utilize uh, to communicate with the American people. When you say that you're going to be monitoring some of the speech on there, if you see something that you don't like, would you try to shut Twitter down? So look, you know, when you when you talk about monitoring, you know, it, it... Yeah, we're going to try to shut them down. And that is exactly what we're doing. If Elon Musk doesn't fall into line, if he doesn't fall into place, yeah. We've got Apple doing our bidding. The EU is doing our bidding. We've got long arms. We don't have to do the dirty work ourselves. We're behind the scenes. We're behind the scenes. You know, we're behind the scenes. But if it came to that, yes, we can take down Twitter. It is, uh, I, I hate to break it to you, Peter, just like everybody else, we very much monitor. What we do without our media, our media is the best. We tell them what to say, and they say it, and we, re we turn around and regurgitate the same thing. It's a beautiful relationship. It's a beautiful relationship, the one we have with the media. We are truly grateful to the media for being such an ally. And I'm talking about from print media to the big news networks. They're doing all that they can to make sure that the American people stay in the dark about a lot of things, this misinformation need to call out hate speech and misinformation. That's what we need to do. That's why Twitter and all the rest of the social medias is right up under our purses. We've got our hands on them. They can't move without us. And the media is our bestest ally in this fight against misinformation and hate. We've got to do our part. We've got to do our part to make sure 
that the American people is controlled and that they don't hear things that they don't need to be hearing. Twitter wants to become a truth serum platform, then we'll just have to shut it down. I, I hate to break it to you, Peter, just like everybody else, we very much monitor the news. We pay close attention to everything that you all are reporting and, and Twitter's in the news a lot. And so that's what we're paying attention to. Twitter's in the news a lot because we make sure that Twitter is in the news a lot because we don't want any kind of diversion to be taken on this uh, subject. We want this thing front and center. We want, to sh we want to tear Elon Musk down as much as we can. We call our, our news people and we tell them, you run this story 24-7. Make it like he did Trump all over again. 24-7 Twitter, 24-7 Twitter. And bring in our allies. Bring in the big guns. Bring in Apple. Bring in the EU. Bring in those big guys. Bring in China. So we can tame this beast. And yes, we can shut down Twitter if we want to. We're paying attention to what is in the news and what is being reported on, uh, on the misinformation that's out there. Let's not forget there's groups like NAACP, the Anti-Defamation League, and the public <laughs> health leaders have been very vocal about their concerns as well. So yes, we are uh, reading what you all are. Our allies in the community agree. Affirmative action. That's right. They all agree that we have to keep an eye on Twitter because we don't want people waking up to the truth. You know, we don't want people waking up to the truth that America is great. No, we don't want people to do that. We, that's why we got the NAACP with us to make sure they continue to tell the people you're oppressed, you're depressed, you're, the, the country is racist, they hate black people. We need them to continue to spew these things. And if Twitter is telling them the truth, if people on Twitter are saying, hey, you know, look at this or look at that, then, then, then no, then that's going to put them out of business. We don't want them out of business. That's one of our biggest allies when it's the truth. When it comes to blindsiding the black community, we need the NAACP and all these other organizations. We need them. So when, the, when those organizations say there's a problem, we hear them, we listen because... Those are our allies in this fight. Our writing and, and looking at what you all are reporting uh, about the misinformation uh, that is out there. But, you know, I would hope that all Americans, uh, including social media companies, civil rights organizations I just laid out, <laughs> including Fox as well, will agree that uh, we need to, uh, you know, we need to, uh, to uh, you know, call out hate speech and misinformation. That's right. We need to make sure we call out hate speech and misinformation because misinformation can lead the American people to power. And we don't want them getting any power. We need them to be sheep. We need them to go to, to, to the doctors and get their penises cut off. If, they, if we say, yeah, you, if you, we tell them you're, you're a woman, so go get your penis cut off. And then if you say you're a man, we say, yeah, go ahead, go get your breast cut off. We, we need them to know that these are the kinds of truths that, that really works. And if they start hearing people say, these are castrations, these are, are your mutilating bodies and things like that, no, then, then, then our narrative's not going to go through it. So no, we're keeping an eye on Twitter. We're keeping an eye on Elon Musk. And our friends in the media is helping. And our friends on the, uh, and on, on the, on the ground, these associations, the organizations, they're helping. And if we need to shut Twitter down, we'll shut it down like that. So, Elon Musk is under fire. You know, a couple of days ago, I made a video. It was more of a rant in reference to all of this with Elon Musk and how Twitter is under attack. And the man has not done anything. Anything! Aside from bringing a few more people back onto the platform. That's all he's done. And now he's got everybody after him. Apple's after him. You know, the EU is now threatened to cancel him. And um, I don't want to go back into another rant in reference to this. Because I already ranted about that. I did a whole 12-minute video rant. So we're not going to go into this now. But... 
I just have to say that, you know, Elon Musk has done such great work. He has done great work for us in the society, not just um, here in America, but around the world. I mean, look at the man. He's made Tesla, right? It's, it's, it's the climate change car, you know? But they used to love him for it. But now they, they, they hate him because why he's trying to make free speech. He's trying to give people a platform where you can speak truth without being censored and sh being cut down at every turn for having ideas and thoughts and opinions, you know? This is America. So Twitter's under fire and they've, they, they're, they've all come for him. You know, my, my thumbnail for, for my rant video you know, says it all. And, you know, it's ridiculous. But I pray that Elon Musk will fight and continue to fight and stand up against the mob, stand up against the machine, stand up against the left and what they're trying to do. He needs help. But yet nobody's, nobody else is out here standing with him. He really does need help. Hopefully, the lions will start to wake up and they will start to realize, you know what? It is time to take a stand. It is time to speak. No matter what the consequence, we need to stand. Because if we don't, we won't have a country. We won't have anything. So anyway, friends, that is the video. Thank you so much for watching. And we've got souls to save. Let's go. Share that video so we can save some souls.